Well, I'm just so thankful to the crowd we had today. I thought our crowd was unbelievable. I thought it was awesome. It was a great environment. Um, we were just really excited. Uh, and I, and I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that Oklahoma State continues to play. And I know they are really banged up, but it's still great for our state. Uh, they're a very good basketball team. And we happen to have a really good second half. So I'm, I'm really proud of that. I love the way that we're sharing the basketball. And I love the way that we're just getting better, and that's the only focus that we have right now. Jenny, your inside game was so good. We out rebounded him a couple of inches. Couldn't stop Skyler, and I couldn't stop really much yet going on inside. Well, I felt like I felt like Skyler really set the tone in terms of rebounding. In it was, I think, the first possession of the game. I think was was, and that was an area we needed to improve upon, especially in the the game that we had right before that at Cincinnati. Um, and I thought Sahara Williams did a really great job of being able to adjust. I think the, there was a major turning point in how, you know, because they they guarded her in a certain way, and I feel like she did a really nice job, um, really at halftime of the game in Stillwater a few weeks ago. And then today she came out that way and really established the paint for us in a different way. And so I thought that was, I thought the two of them really did a nice job of establishing that inside for us. She's becoming such a more confident shooter in the three tonight. She looks like she's really branching out. Yeah, I don't even know if she's not a, a confident three point shooter. I feel like her, I feel like, you know, maybe they want to take something else away. And so I think instead of her just shooting it, I think what she did today was she took it when she needed to, she passed it when she needed to, and she just played basketball. And that's really, you know, because those things can mess with you. And I thought she did a nice job of just being able to play through that. You mentioned her right out of halftime that she scored 10 straight points for you. What did change at halftime? Was there something you guys talked about in game I don't think, sorry, are you getting distracted? No. <laughs> sorry, I've got one crawling back here. Um, um, I, don't, I don't know if we necessarily really made a lot of adjustments in the second half. We did a better job of guarding the three. I thought we did a much better job, and I think that really fueled us on the offensive end. I still feel like we stood a lot offensively, especially when there was a really big break, you know, where they went to a monitor, and then it, you know, just took a little bit of time, and so we didn't necessarily come back out in that flow. Uh, but I feel like we got it back, which was good. We're so much better when we can move the basketball, and we're so much better when everybody touches it, and we're a little bit more aggressive. Uh, and so I feel like, I feel like we also got some good looks in the first, and they didn't go in. And I think one thing that this team has really done a nice job of is we've taken away the outcome. We've taken away worrying about whether it goes in. If it's a good shot, it's still a good shot, regardless of whether it goes in or not. And I think we can we can live with that. Sometimes it's going to go in, sometimes it isn't. What we can't live with is if we're not us. Jenny, you talked about Sahara on the offensive side, but I kind of want to ask about the defensive side. Yeah, I thought she was great. I, I thought she was fantastic today. And, and how much of an asset is it? Obviously, you guys have size on the bench and in the starting lineup, but being able to have a player like Sahara that is so comfortable banging down low with bigs on opposing teams, and how, how big of an asset is it to be able to have her on the floor playing kind of that five defensively and then being able to kind of keep the pace up on the offensive side because of that? Yeah, I, I think that was huge, and that was something we did in the second half at their place as well. And then I think it allowed us to help when we needed to help. I think we did a better job on the initial guarding today, and again, that's a carryover from the last game that we didn't do great, and probably the last couple. I feel like we definitely, you know, we worked a lot in practice this week, but I feel like we got a lot better at that. Um, but Sahara, Sahara has a presence. And she's a freshman, so she doesn't even know sometimes that um, that can be good and it cannot be good and it can, you know, just kind of exist. But when she's in that space, she elevates everybody. And not, not a lot of people have that strong of a presence, but Sahara has a presence. She definitely has one. And so when, when she's in that space, I feel like... It, it really impacts everybody. I don't know if you guys feel the same. I know you guys are so distracted. Can you just can you just go over there? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm used to it. And it's usually them distracting me, not them. <laughs> um, but talking about Sahara in terms of her presence, what would you guys say? I think she has a competitive presence all the time. Um, and like she's like that can be good and bad, whether it's fouls or not fouls. I think she's just competitive all the time, and it shows.
I think she just takes everybody with her. I think she does a really good job just kind of like leading a, the team in a different way. And I think that's it being really positive. And also she's very confident. And I think you see her confidence on the court all the time. And that's her driving, her shooting tonight. Like, she's super talented. Scott, you had a great game today. Mm -hmm. You talk about your game. You just seem like you're comfortable just playing and playing like you always do. Um, I mean, I just think um, my teammates just put me in really good positions, I think, today. Um, I think, like Jenny was saying, like our movement was really important, so I think just really cutting to score, cutting hard. And I think my teammates were just able to hit me at the right time um, and always kind of just having that scoring mentality. Um, but, yeah, and then also just rebounding. I think my headspace was just crash as hard as you can, and if I don't get it, I bet one of my teammates will get it. So. Was there anything that y'all felt changed? Uh, Sahara had those ten, but the point she was kind of answering then, but then, but then y'all got that. I think it was a ten run right after that. That's when it really kind of got out of hand. Was there anything that y'all felt changed at, at that point, or was it just that uh, that y'all were in a position to go ahead and play that run together? I think it's really important just to stay steady. I think um, OC is a very talented team, so I mean they're going to have their runs, and we're going to have ours. So I think really just being connected um, and being just and confident in our like. Uh, our plays and like what we're doing. Um, so we knew like we were going to figure it out at one way or the other. How good was uh, Aiden today? Uh, it seems like she always does a lot of small things, a lot of rebounds today. I think she had 13 rebounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think Peyton continues to um, really evolve her game. I think there were times today that she was almost a little too unselfish and overpassed or over, you know, did some things. And we see that a lot with yeah. Peyton. Um, but again, you would, you'd rather have that, you know, you'd, you'd rather have that. And I, and I just, I think she just fits. I think she's a great culture person. And, and honestly, like, as you listen to them talk and the questions you ask, I, I think one of the things that we're really starting to see is, you know, you listen to them talking about a freshman, it's pretty cool. You know, if they probably could talk about Peyton even better than what I'm talking about Peyton. I think you've heard Skylar talk about Lexi before and her elevating our level in the defensive end. And it's it's those things where they're constantly giving credit to the other person. I think that's I think that's a pretty cool culture. And we've we've had to we've had to fall down and we've had to learn some things. And I think in games that's when other teams go on a run. It's not something that all of a sudden you just do different. It's something that. Sometimes you have to draw a line. Sometimes you have to rebound better. Sometimes you have, you know, certain things you have to be able to do. But I think they just trust one another, good or bad, and and then you kind of let the scoreboard take care of itself. Mm -hmm. So you guys are on the cusp of your second straight Big 12 title, one win away from from clinching that. Just how does it feel that knowing that you guys have, have really built this over the last couple of years? To get to this um. I haven't really been thinking about that or trying not to. I mean, it's really exciting. But I think um, we did this thing yesterday, and it looks like we had marbles, and it's said for every game we have. So I think we're really just focusing on the next game. And, I mean, we're just going to keep working hard um, and doing what we've been doing for three years now. Um, and we hope that everything will just kind of work out the way we want it to. So. Jenny, I just wanted to get your thoughts on the same thing, just kind of what it takes to be one more. Yeah, I mean, we haven't even talked about it, to be honest. And I think you get so consumed in our world, and it's easy. It's easy when you're on the outside, when you have, when you can look at that. But when you're on the inside, and you're like, okay, we got to get better here. We got to get better here. Okay, let's keep, let's keep enhancing this. Let's keep elevating this. I don't, I don't think that there's a lot of time, you know. And plus, they've got tests and finals they've got to focus on and things like that. And so, going to class and study halls and all those things. But. Um, yeah, I think I'll be able to answer that question at the end to be like, man, that was that's really cool. But in the middle of it, I, who cares? You still got to get better tomorrow. So we're going to enjoy this one today. I'm going to promise you that like we do every one. Uh, this was a really good win for us, and it's not because this, of the score. Oklahoma State's good. So we're going to enjoy this. We're going to enjoy the really good things that came out of this, but we haven't looked ahead. We don't. We don't. We get to we get to come back together. We're off tomorrow. We get to come back together on Monday and practice. Jenny, with the celebrating the 50th anniversary and having so many alumni back in town, like how important it is, is it for you to sort of um, kind of embrace the program's history and mm -hmm. you know meet people maybe you haven't met before? Well, we've had members. Um, the The foundation of this program is incredibly strong, and obviously, when you have you know Sherry Cole, who was here for about half of it. 
Um, then there's a lot of people that are tied with her and she's continued to be great uh, with us. And um, so I think that's a huge piece, but I think it's even deeper than that. We had women that were here from the very first team and they have roots and they watch every game and they're so proud of these guys and they can give some coaching advice too. And then you start to see how far we've come. And then you think, you know, I, you know, just had a birthday and realized it was almost 25 years ago that I played. And I'm like, wow, it was only 25 years before that, that other people played. And I know you're thinking I look so young is what you're thinking. I know, <laughs> um, but it, it hasn't been long enough. So although that feels really good that, man, we can celebrate these women, I'm looking at them thinking, wow, you're too young to have played on the first college basketball team. And yet how far everything has come. I mean, they shared uniforms with the volleyball team, you know, and, you know, they're telling those stories of driving to their own away games and trying to figure things out and not knowing, and they played six on six, and then they have to learn all of a sudden a whole new rule, you know, set of rules. And so you listen to all these really cool stories. Um, we still have a long way to go, but what was really cool is the foundation of this program. They want it to be better tomorrow. And not every program has that where people are still invested in the program that played 50 years ago. And these women are, and everybody in between. And a coach that retired that was here for a long time that still wants this program to go for that championship, to still want to raise some banners. And so I think the people of this program are second to none, and this place is very, very special. Just to kind of related to that, this was a national TV game on Fox. What's, what is it like just for the program to get that kind of exposure? I think one of the things that um, I'm really, really happy today that we had so many people here because uh, in our state, in, in a national level, women's basketball is at an all-time high. I mean, people are following. Last year was the highest in terms of attendance and viewership in terms of that Final Four. And obviously, there's some great talent across the nation that's really elevating that game and, and especially the visibility. In the state of Oklahoma, we're not there yet. But today, look at how many people came today. And they could have watched it at home. And they can watch most of our games at home. But they came today to show the support for this sport. At a grassroots level, you know, I have young kids, clearly. One of them's around here. Um, but I see young boys. I see young girls playing. There's, there are plenty of young people in this state that are playing this sport. We need them to continue to fall in love with it. And so we need, I love that we have great Division One basketball programs in our state. We need to just continue to do our job to elevate the level of women's basketball in our state. And I feel like today, the rest of the world got to see that we're, cl we're getting closer. And so I'm really proud of that. Well, I think the biggest thing is thank you for coming today. And, you know, and I, I've gotten up here and I've, I've gone on rants about how people need to show up. And I did that a year ago and then everybody came and then we didn't. So I'm going to focus on making sure that we show up um, and everybody else can, can come if they want to on Wednesday. But today was awesome for our state. And so that's what we're going to be really happy for. And I really hope that everybody says, you know what, what I want, I don't want them to come out for the championship. I don't want them to come out because it's OU Texas. I want them to come out because today they watched this team and they fell in love with this team the way that they play. That's what you want. Because then guess what's going to happen next year? They're going to come back. Because I don't want there to be, uh, I don't want there to be something they're coming for other than watching these women play. And I think the people that came today are going to come back to watch these women play. Alexa, what did you think of the team's defensive performance tonight? They always talk about you set the top. Now we shot 36 percent from the four. What did you think of how well you guys played defensively? Um, honestly, I think our communication was really good from the start. Um, I think we kind of stuck to our. I think we've gotten away from our game plan a lot of times starting out in the game. Um, but I think we stuck to that, and I think we did a really good job in that. But I think our communication was the best it's been in a while, um, and that's come from the last two days in practice. We've had really, really good practices, and I think, like we've always said, um, our practices transfer over to our games. So we were playing them for you. I mean, I know you had the hand up in Stillwater. You know, so is that, is she got cheered for today. <laughs> yeah, I know everybody really cheered for her today, so that was nice. I mean, I mean, I guess it's a little bit um, strange. I guess just I, I was there for three years, but um, I have a really awesome team here, um, really great friends, really great teammates, and 
coaches that have my back, and so going into it, um, they gave me confidence, and so that's what that's all that mattered. Did you hear the cheers? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything else, guys? You guys, thanks for being here. Yes. Appreciate you all. Thank you, guys. Covering women's basketball. Thank you.